talk about um, the importance of using Camera Raw, which is a filter within um, Adobe Photoshop. So when I view my images, I always open them in Adobe Bridge. So if you're paying for the Creative Cloud um, package that has all of the Adobe programs, I would highly suggest using Adobe Bridge. It's a great way to um, be able to sort your images. You can rename them quickly. Um, I'll go over Adobe Bridge in a whole nother video, um, all the ins and outs and benefits of it. But um, for now, so let's uh, cover Camera Raw. So um, I have my picture open here in Bridge, so I'm just going to open it um, in Raw. So you can either, mine's default is set to open it in Raw, um, but if not, you can just right click and go to Open in Camera Raw. If you shoot in Raw, so if your pictures are taken um, and on your camera you have them set to shoot in RAW instead of JPEG, um, by default they're going to open in camera RAW anyway. So, um, so you can see I have an image here and I'm going to show you what you can do with a photo before you even open it in Photoshop itself. Um, so you can crop your images here, you can adjust the coloring exposure, contrast. Um, I really like Camera Raw to uh, get rid of shadows, like unwanted shadows. Um, you can bump up the saturation of the color. Um, you can blur the background. All those things you can do in Photoshop as well, but um, a lot of it is just quicker to do here. And you can also do multiple photos at once. So when we are editing um, a series of photos, whether it's from a wedding or a family session, um, when we have the same set of pictures, so like the same setting, and we want all of the color, um, the, uh, the the temperature of the picture, which would be like the, um, the tone, all of that stuff, when we want that to be the same, we would open all the photos in Camera Raw. You'll see them on the side over here. Um, and you can basically like batch edit them. You can select them all and adjust things so that it affects all of the photos. It's a great way to speed up your editing process. So I'm gonna start by just cropping the picture. Um, one thing that we do, we always crop our pictures to an 11 to 15 ratio. Um, it is the most compatible with printing. So if you're wanting to print a picture um, as an eight by 10, 11 by 14, um, 4 by 6, 5 by 7, that that size of 11 by 15, as you can see, I have it set to 11 by 15. I just went to custom and typed that in. Um, that's going to be the most compatible, so it doesn't cut off a lot of your picture when our clients go to print. So, um, let me pull this down just a little. I like a little bit of kind of off-center. Um, I think that's good there. Um, and I'm going to hit enter. So I've cropped my picture. So obviously it's, it's way too dark. Um, she is out of focus, not out of focus. She is um, um, out of the light. So we need to bring up that a little bit. So I'm going to adjust the exposure. There's still a little bit more shadow here than I would like. So I'm going to up that, you can see here. So already that makes a huge difference. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I love is that Sometimes, especially like with weddings, when it's a very fast paced environment, you don't have time to go into your camera and necessarily adjust the white balance. It's not to say that's all the time, but sometimes um, if it's just moving quickly, you may not have time to mess with that. So um, changing it within camera raw um, is just as easy. So this is as shot. So that means that's how the photo um, came straight out of the camera. So you can go to auto, which is what it thinks it should be. Um, you can see if I go down daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash, custom. So custom is just the last setting um, that I used. So I'm gonna bring up the yellow just a little bit. So it's a little more natural skin tone, not too cool. Um, and I think we're good there. So this was as shot, and now this is what I'm changing. So very slight difference. Um, the other thing you can do in here, the saturation. So if you wanted 
your colors to be a little richer for the vibrance. You don't want it to be, you have to look at every color. You can't just look at the, you know, the helmet and the little lace. You've got to look at the skin tone. I think in pictures of people, skin tone is the most important to have accurate. So let's lower this just a little bit. And I'm going to still go back and Photoshop and edit it further. So um, the other thing you could do, which I'm not going to do for this one, but I'm going to show you um, the benefit of it, is you can go to the adjustment brush here. And you can make adjustments to certain areas. So instead of it affecting the whole photo, um, let's say I wanted to blur out part of the picture. So like with a newborn photo, if you wanted to blur the, the blanket, um, all of these <clears throat> Let me set to zero. Um, so if I wanted to blur an area of this, um, I'm going to lower the clarity and the saturation. And I'm going to go all the way just to show you what happens. And then if I brush it on here, you can see and I like it for the background. And you can see all the areas, if I hit the mask down here, you can see all the areas that I hit with that. Now, if I up, so look, take a look at his hand in the bottom of the helmet. So you can see how that blurs all of that. Um, so this is great, like I said, for getting um, kind of a smooth blur in a background or on a blanket if you're working with a baby. Um, so I'm going to lower that just a little bit. I don't want it to be too blurred out. Okay, um, I think that's it. We'll go a little bit further into Camera Raw. Um, when I show you how to crop your pictures to specific sizes, rotate them, things like that. But I just wanted to briefly touch on this. Um, so if we go back, if we go back here, you can also look within the the tone curve. So if you need to bring up the the highlights or bring down the highlights so they aren't quite as dark, you can see how that affects that as well. Um, so that's it. Just kind of a brief intro into Camera Raw. Um, in the next video, um, I'm going to go Thanks a little bit more in Thanks for watching this video. Depth. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.